In today's video, we're going to talk about how to live stream on multiple Facebook pages. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Walt from Live Streaming Tech, and today we're going to discuss how to stream to multiple Facebook pages. And you're probably scratching your head wondering, why would I want to stream to multiple Facebook pages? Well, I'm glad you asked because my brother Dale ran into this about a year and a half ago and he had a group Facebook page here with a lot of self-publishers on it. And then he had his business page here that also had self-publishers on it, but some of them didn't clash over. But yet at the same time, he wanted to live stream material that pertained to both groups or those certain individuals. And he thought, well, that would suck because I would have to stream an hour, hour and a half long to get this information across to one group and then stream another hour and a half just to regurgitate the same information. And he went, voila, the light bulb went off in his head. He says, why don't I use Restream IO to multi-stream to both groups at the same time? So he spent less time overall hitting both groups up. And that leads me to the next part. And that is today's sponsor. That's right, none other than Restream.io. And you're probably wondering yourself, what is Restream.io? Restream.io is a multi-streaming service that is super powerful and allows you to stream to multiple platforms simultaneously. And of course, they always have the popular ones on there, such as YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook, and many more. And definitely give them a try. And you're probably saying, well, wait, Walt, I'm just still learning how to use OBS. I'm still trudging through your videos. And I'm glad you are. Make sure you smash those likes on those videos and learn everything there is to know about OBS. But Restream.io has you covered because they have a new tool out called Restream Studio, which just uses a browser. That's right. You can live stream to multiple platforms just using a browser. That's right. Nothing special, nothing new to learn. And it is super simple. That is right. When I took a look at it, I wondered to myself, well, why, why wasn't, where was this about five, six years ago? Why didn't I have something like this to get me started in streaming? Of course, you know, uh, I had to trudge through the old OBS classic. But enough of that jibber jab out of the way. Let's turn it on over to Dale and let him show you his fanboydom when it comes to Restream IO and multi streaming to multiple Facebook pages simultaneously. See you over there. Okay, before we do dive deep into how to live stream to multiple Facebook pages, I think it's important to note that you're going to need premium access to Restream. And in order to do that, you can go on over and visit our affiliate link at livestreamingtech.com slash Restream. We put it up right here for you so you can actually access it. As soon as you do access it, let's get you logged on into your account and follow along with me. Okay, so we're going to go into destinations. That's going to be our first stop here. We're going to add channel. Right, we can add personal no matter what level we're going to be doing it. So at uh, the premium level, you are going to be more focused on getting it over to the groups and, and public pages. So we're going to go ahead and left click on that. And we're going to want to connect Facebook. Okay, so I've already given permissions before here through Facebook, but I'm going to walk you through it anyways. And it's going to give everything from the personal profile to public page as well as the group. Let's go ahead and add a couple of groups. So we'll do self-publishing books. I'll hit save. Now it's gonna give us a reminder and a prompt, add Restream app to the Facebook group. So you need to put it into the permissions. We're gonna left click on that. It'll drop you into the group and scroll all the way to the bottom and left click on the pencil where it says apps. Now, I already have Restream added here, but if you're going to be doing this for the first time, what you're gonna do is hit add apps and you'll search up Restream and it'll pull up here. But since we already give permissions here, we're good to go on this one. So since we're already set here, we've got all the permissions added that we want to, let's add another group. Left click on this, connect Facebook, choose the group that you want. I'm gonna select this one. We're gonna hit save. And again, it reminds you to add that as an app. Don't forget that, otherwise you won't be able to stream into your group. You have to give permissions to restream in order to get in there. I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. Sorry, you gave permissions. And then let's add a business page. I'm gonna left click on that business page connect Facebook again in the drop down. I'll find self publishing with Dale and we'll hit save. Fantastic. The next step we're going to want to do, remember, we need to do all this stuff regardless of where we're doing it from, be it through the studio uh, app that they have or through OBS or Streamlabs OBS or any other encoder that you happen to be using. We're going to go into update titles. Now we can do a quick 
bulk upload or a big bulk uh, correction when it comes to the title. And it's just as simple as say, put test, and then let's go ahead and type in a description of some sort, and we can put test right here too, and hit update all. But I don't wanna mess up any of my other channels that I already have set up, so we're just gonna scroll down, and all you have to do is hit edit, and type in what you like. Now you've got up to about a thousand characters, so feel free to kind of put it full of what you need. And uh, when you're all set, you're gonna hit update stream. And we're gonna do the same thing over to the other ones. Update. And let's get that other one. And we'll hit update. Fantastic, let's scroll back up to the top and we have something that's called social alerts. You can be able to integrate your Discord server as well as your Facebook page if you wish to, as well as Twitter. Now, um, you can see I already have it already set up, but in the event that I didn't, um, let's go ahead and we'll hit disconnect. We can always connect the account by left clicking on it and then allowing it permissions. And it'll say, usually it'll say, will you allow it? And you do it. But since I already allowed it before, it's gonna do that here. We can select the page that we wish to publish this to. And uh, let's say, for instance, we'll go to self-publishing with Dale. And I can always say, this is a test. So we've got about roughly 200 characters. You don't wanna go over that because you know obviously you're not gonna be able to show the entire thing over on Twitter. So we'll hit update. All right, we are ready to rock and roll. I'm gonna show you three different ways we can go live to these three different groups. Let's start it out with Restream Studio. That's the path of least resistance. You don't need to be very tech savvy in order to use this option. So I'm gonna go ahead and left click on this camera on the left hand side. And it's accessed my camera over here, and you can see that it's ready to rock and roll. In the event that your camera is not coming up, all you would need to do is left click on the sprocket here, and you can select a different camera. But for me, I like that. In the event that you have a special microphone that you wish to use, you can always select that microphone. But we're gonna go ahead and leave it as is. Um, any rate, uh, we're ready to go. At this point, we can just go ahead and hit go live. There are a few other little features you can go in between the chat, the captions, the graphics, and the uh, setup here. Um, the setup is what we've already kind of laid out. We're good to go on this one. So I really honestly am just ready to just go ahead and hit go live, but we're not gonna do that because I'm just showing you the full setup. So essentially you hit go live, it's ready to rock and roll and you're good to go. All right, so let's take a look at OBS next, how do we do that? So let's go back into our dashboard, into the destinations. All right, and you see on this right hand side, we're gonna need to have the stream key down here and I'm gonna left click the copy key and you guys and gals ain't allowed to see it, all right? All right, now that we're inside the OBS dashboard, what you're gonna need to do is go on over into settings. And as soon as we select settings, we need to go into stream. Okay, so that stream key, what we're gonna need to do is get it kind of copied in here, but we're gonna need to choose the right service. Last time I was in was Twitch, so we need to go to Restream. We're gonna connect account or use the stream key. Connecting account really does make life a little easier. Um, it's just as simple as connecting an account, it's going to ask you to log in. But so my video editor doesn't have to go and blur things out. What I'm just gonna do is use the stream key. And I'm gonna highlight this whole thing and we're gonna hit Control plus the letter V. If you happen to be using Mac, it'll be Command V. All right, and it's set there. If you're in doubt of whether it's the right code, you can always hit Show. But, uh, and you also see there's another option that says Get Stream Key. Again, it'll probably get you connected with your account and you can do that. So we'd hit Apply once it's all set and then it's ready to rock and roll. So let's go over to Streamlabs OBS. In the bottom left hand side, we've got the icon. We're gonna left click on that. We're gonna go over into stream. We're gonna choose streaming services, all right? And we want just regular streaming services. We're gonna drop down over into restream.io RTMP, all right? We're gonna select that. We're gonna allow it to auto detect. And remember, we copied that. It was on our clipboard. All you need to do is go ahead and control and V, when you press that, it's going to paste it on there. And I'm not gonna show this to you because I don't need to have my video editor having to blur this out, but you're essentially ready to rock and roll. Big bonus tip. Now, a lot of people are probably wondering, okay, what should I be streaming at, Dale? So that's an excellent point. When it comes to Facebook, if you're brand new to the platform, you're gonna wanna start low. So what we're gonna do is let's go over into output 
And we're gonna to wanna to make sure that when we're doing this, that this video bit rate is between 2,800 and 4,000 kbps. If you try to go above that, it tends to kind of get really laggy. Now, the next thing is, let's go over into video. You can hit the drop down on each one of these things. Now, you can do a base canvas revolution as, uh, resolution as high as you wish, but when it comes to the output, keep it at about 1280 by 720. You're gonna hit the drop down and it'll fix it that way. And then the frames per second, keep it at 30 frames per second or less. If you try to go above those things, you're gonna find there's a lot of lag and there's a lot of buffering. If you discover that when you're doing this, that there's still a lot of lag, then it might have something to do with your internet connection or the time of day you're trying to stream on. And while we're talking about the Facebook business page and the group pages, we actually did an entire video series based on how to set up your Facebook business page from top to bottom, inside out. And also on my other channel, I showed how to set up a Facebook group. Go over and take a look at this very next video. I think these are going to really get you equipped in the right direction and that way you can really make the most out of your Restream access. I'll see you in either one of these videos.